I noticed today when I looked at my pickup truck, the front left tire is much more worn on the outside than on the inside. And so I could talk to somebody about this and I could say, hey, obviously there's a, there's a problem with the manufacturing of the rubber. They made part of it too soft and part of it too hard and it just wears out more quickly. Or perhaps my thinking is that, per, uh, you know, I ran over some vinegar and vinegar ate away part of the tire. For those of you that know anything about tires and automobiles, it's already popped into your mind. You know what the problem is. You saw the, the, the rubber issue that I described and you already know what the problem is and you know what the solution is. And I think that there are many things in life that this is the case. And so when I know something, and I probably shouldn't say know something, when, when I have information about something, I've been educated on something, I have knowledge of something. And the reason I didn't like to say I know is because sometimes knowledge is wrong. And, and I, so I don't like to say I know things. Based on what I know, certain things are as they are. So one of the common things that uh, is big in the world of sales, there are a few things that people will do if they're salespeople. And there are a number of books out there, a lot of them, that you can read that will make you a better salesperson. And so one of these things is in real estate, if you are trying to sell someone a home and you're a real estate agent, and let's say there's a beautiful view of the lake from one of the windows of the house, you as the real estate agent would position yourself with your back to that window so that your potential clients are looking at you and they are looking right over your shoulder at the beautiful view. And they don't probably realize why you chose to stand there. They just thought it was happenstance. That's just, oh, that's where the realtor stood. And by the way, it is real tour. It's not real a uh, tour, but that's a side note. So they don't know why the realtor chose to stand where they did, but they did do it for a particular reason. For those of you who have lived a little bit of life and have, have seen how people who are interested in each other romantically interact with each other, let me just toss out a scenario. A 30-year-old guy who has been around the block, traveled a lot, had a couple hundred girlfriends by this time, he says to a beautiful 18-year-old homeschooled uh, gal, he says to her, she's very naive and innocent. And, and he says to her, you are so beautiful. I just, every moment I spend with you, I, I feel so close. I wish I could get closer to you. I wish there was a way we could be closer. What do you think he's trying to do? For those of you who have been in the mix, you know what he's trying to do. Perhaps you were in that same mix or whatever, but you know what he's trying to do. He's not really just paying a genuine compliment. Probably, he probably does think she's beautiful and he does want to get closer, but he's not saying exactly how he wants to get closer. You and me, we know what he really means by that. Now, perhaps his audience doesn't know. And she thinks, oh my gosh, how lucky did I get to find a guy that's traveled and knows stuff and has experienced so much that I haven't been able to. And now I get to meet this person and out of 7 billion people, he's choosing me and he wants to get closer to me. Yeah, there, there are a lot of people that would go for that. And, and it's not a shameful thing. It's just, we all have different experiences and we know different things. And why do I bring up these several examples? And the reason is, if you look just over my hat right here, where is it right there? Yeah, there you go. That book, that is Agenda 21. And the book that you see there above my hat, that was not written by a conspiracy theorist. That was written, published by the United Nations. This is their plan. 
Since then, there's a 2030 plan. Uh, this was the 2021 plan, but there's also a 2030 plan. And the most accessible way, the easiest layperson way to understand it is to what were the contents of this yeah, kind of thick and boring book is to read a book that Rosa wrote behind the green mask. And if you look that up on, on your internet machine, uh, it'll, it'll come up. It's well worth reading. Or if you don't do that, if you watch you know, three, four, five hours, the same amount it would take you to read the book. Just watch that of her videos on YouTube. And I can never remember or pronounce her last name. Corey, Kanori, Korai, something like that. But if you look up the book, Behind the Green Mask, there'll be a link to her, her book and, and you'll get her name from that as well. If you understand the contents of this book, and if you understand the contents of the Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin. And, and now let's suppose that these people who wrote these books were both wacko and, and wrong. Then you should, as an intelligent person, be able to read those books, sit on it for a month, just contemplate, and then think about it again. And, and your gut is going to tell you whether or not they're right or whether or not there's something to what they're saying, even if they're wrong on a number of smaller issues your gut's going to tell you and you can, you can trust your gut. Obviously our intestines don't tell us things for those of you that are very particular. No, I don't mean that, but you know what I'm saying? That your, your intuition is going to tell you what is and isn't right. So that was a, a long way around of trying to explain why when someone says to me, COVID is going to get you, you should wear a mask to protect grandma and you should do this without good reason. Just do it. Everybody's doing it. It's really cool. If you have read Behind the uh, Green Mask and the book above me here and G. Edward Griffin's book uh, and, and several others, but even just those two, if you've read those two books, you're not going to buy this whole virus panic thing that's happening in 2020 and 21. You're not going to buy it. Just as if now you go and do a real estate, uh, you look at a, a new piece of real estate tomorrow and you're looking at the, the beautiful lake. It's a lakefront property and the realtor positions themselves with their back to the window so you can see the beautiful lake. You can't now unlearn that little piece of knowledge that I gave you. Now, when you see that, if anybody ever does that to you, can't unlearn it. Can't unlearn that. So I suggest that you educate yourself in the two ways that I suggested. There are many other ways to educate oneself. I'm, I could be wrong, but that's just my suggestion. And uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. After, of course, you've read the books and logically reasonably considered them. And that's the way that you respond in your argument. I'm kind of uninterested in anything that isn't logical or reasonable. It's kind of kind of old and boring at this point. So uh, it needs to be logical and reasonable, but I, I'd look, look forward to hearing back from you and seeing if I'm wrong. And of course, I'm always looking to be found wrong so that I can change my mind and think something that's better and truer and more wonderful than before. Thank you for taking the time to, to contemplate this with me and uh, yeah, have a lovely day. Thank you.